Call Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side Forecast. And kind of the tale of two weekends. Yesterday we hit a record high after hitting a near all-time record high on Friday when we got up to 110 degrees yesterday, 104 degrees. Today we didn't even make it into the 90s and it doesn't look like we're going to. This is the view from our Toyota Tower Cam on top of the Grove Hotel looking off to the west. Yeah, there's some haze out there, but again, it's up in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Our air quality is good right now and it's 86 degrees. Nice breeze out of the west-northwest at 13 miles per hour. Air quality improving in some mountain locations as well. Still pretty hazy around Stanley, as you can see. But this is the view uh, of the Long Valley looking down from Brundage Mountain. And there was a lot more haze in this shot when we looked at it yesterday. So things improving temperature wise and air quality wise as well. And it's only 67 degrees right now in McCall, 84 down in Twin Falls. All of these temperatures are below average for this date, and it looks like uh, this will be the only day that we'll see that because we have high pressure that will build in again. And we do have some showers trying to form over the east central mountains around Salmon and Chalice. Uh, we saw that yesterday. This red flag warning still in effect here through 10 o'clock tonight. We saw a lot of lightning strikes in this region and we'll be looking at the possibility of new fire starts because of those lightning strikes. Uh, the wind coming through and that's part of the reason that red flag warning is still in effect. That breeze coming out of the northwest behind the cold front that really made this a refreshing Sunday after two days of record heat. But high pressure will build in as that front continues to move off to the east and that means our temperatures will be on the rise again. Doesn't look like we're going to hit the triple digits again any time soon and possibly uh, not again this year. Don't hold me to that, but doesn't look like it's going to happen over the next seven days. We will hit the mid and even upper 90s in many locations when we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. So tomorrow's forecast hotter than today. 96 is our forecast high for Boise. That's up above average. Once again, it will be sunny throughout the valley, but we'll have that haze in the upper levels of the atmosphere. The smoke is probably going to come back as we go through the next few days. Sunny with some areas of smoke in the West Central Mountains. Not a bad day. We're looking at mid 80s in most locations at those higher elevations, 84 in McCall. East Central Mountains, 84 in Stanley as well after a 36 degree start. And down in the Magic Valley, we have the potential of some thunderstorms in the mountains to the south. But aside from that, mostly sunny, you still have the areas of smoke and afternoon highs in the low to middle 90s. Here's our extended forecast. And as I said, we'll come close to the triple digits. 98 is our forecast high on Tuesday. We stay in that range for Wednesday and Thursday with the possibility of some thunderstorms, especially over the Waihee Mountains and the Central Mountains. And then another cold front comes through just in time for next weekend. And next Saturday, we have an afternoon high of 92, which is not as pleasant as today, but is still about where we should be this time of year. Yeah, today feels really nice. Very, yeah. Yeah, if you haven't been outside, get out there. Get the out show's there. over. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good point. All right, thanks.